January 2nd, breaking away. Genesis 6, 13 says, And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. In the days before the flood, mankind turned from God and lived as though he did not exist. Morals failed. Man's mind were corrupt and they even embraced abnormal sexual activity. Violence covered the face of the earth and man began living like animals. And it was upon these conditions that God looked and said, My spirit will not always strive with man. Genesis 6, 3. You see, the time eventually comes when God's patience is exhausted. We too live in a world filled with violence and corruption. It is only a matter of time before God will say again, that's it. Matthew 24, 37 tells us, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of God. And as he did the first time, God will tell his people, come into the ark. Thank God he has provided a place of refuge for us. The ark today is Jesus Christ. You are either part of the system that is corrupting the world and dragging it under, or you are part of the system that will float over it when it falls. God has established absolute standards of righteousness and we must submit ourselves to his authority because Jesus is coming very soon to judge the world in righteousness. Father, may we heed those things which we have heard, lest we drift away from them. Help us to make a definite, decisive break away from this corrupt world, that we may stand and be numbered with those who love and serve you. In Jesus' name, amen.